Hello and welcome, my name is Faye, this is Cloud, and today you are here for your 30 minute work wind down stretch and breathe class. This is a great class to help you create that space between your work busy mind to your more relaxed, present at home state. So for class today, you don't need any props, but if you'd like, you could grab a couple blocks or a blanket for more support. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get into it. If you'd like to join me today, I'm gonna to take a comfortable seated shape with my legs loosely crossed one in front of the other. Inhale, shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And then open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Excellent, let's do that one more time. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears. And then open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Allow your eyes to soften down or fully close. Take just a moment to tune in to how you're feeling today, physically in your body, energetically, emotionally. There's no wrong answer and there's no need to judge your answer or what comes into your mind. You're simply practicing a little bit of mindful awareness of what's there. Take another slow and steady breath in through your nose, fill all the way up. And this time, keep your lips sealed, exhale out through your nose, let it go. Gently begin to lift your gaze back into your physical space. And you can start to make some organic movement here. So you might imagine you are seaweed and you're just kind of floating in the ocean. Maybe you're making circles here or maybe you're just moving your body. It doesn't really have to look any particular way. I encourage you to just have fun with this initial movement here. Warming up the body, tapping us into the present moment. Notice where you feel sensations, what it feels like as you move. Is there any popping or cracking or tension or tightness? And then whenever you feel ready, you can return back to stillness. Inhale, extend your hands out in front of you. Press your fingers far apart from each other. And then take your left hand this time and take it to your right hand. Gently, very gently, Pull back on your hand, a little hand stretch here. And then go ahead and turn your right fingertips down towards the earth. Use your left hand to hold on and gently pull down and in towards your body for a little wrist stretch. And then switch hands. Left hand comes up, right hand comes up onto your palm or fingertips and gently press it back. And then go ahead and flip your direction of your fingertips down towards the earth. Hold on with your right hand. Pull your hands kind of down towards the earth and closer in towards your body. Oh no. And then extend your hands back out and just give your wrist just a little circle. Roll them out. And then excellent. Inhale, sweep your right arm across your body. Hold on to your forearm, your wrist. Just a little deltoid stretch here. Take a nice slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. One more breath in. And exhale, release your arm out to the side. This time, inhale, bring your left arm across your body. Take your right hand to your forearm or wrist. And exhale, just pull it across. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release your hand down by your side. Excellent. Inhale, sweep your hands to the sky. Look up, fingertips touch. Exhale, draw hands through heart center, nice and slow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, this time lower your right hand down to the earth. Left hand reaches up and over. Inhale, reach back up towards the sky. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches up and over. Inhale, reach back through center. Exhale, twist to your right. Right hand comes back behind you, left hand on your knee. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, push into your right hand. Exhale, start to peek over your right shoulder. 
Inhale, sweep both arms to the sky. And then exhale, twist to your left. Left hand comes back behind you, right hand on your knee. Stay here in your twist for another breath in. Push into your left fingertips. And then exhale, maybe you peek over your left shoulder. Inhale, return your hands back to the sky. And then exhale, let's roll over onto hands and knees, tabletop shape. Wrists are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. You can always pad your knees here with a blanket or take your hands on blocks if you have any sensitivity in your wrists. Make sure to spread your fingers nice and wide, press into all 10 finger pads. Tuck your toes, stretch through the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, release your feet, scoop and round through your back, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, tuck your toes, pull your heart through your arms, lift your gaze. Exhale, release your feet, scoop and round through your back, press the earth away. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, tuck your toes, drop your belly, lift your gaze, cow pose. And exhale, release, scoop and round for your cat. Take a few more movements here of cat and cow. Or feel free to hold in one shape if you'd like. Or you can start to add any other organic movement that might feel nice. So perhaps you'd like to just kind of rock your hips over to one side. You can bring that seaweed theme back in here. And just imagine your entire body is seaweed and you're just floating in the ocean and moving any parts of your body that might feel good today. It does not have to look any particular way. We got a couple more rounds of breath here. If you're doing one thing on one side, you may want to do it on the other side, but our bodies are not symmetrical, so don't be, don't feel like you need to do everything symmetrically. When you feel ready, return back to stillness. Inhale, widen your knees slightly bigger than your hips. Exhale, bring your big toes to kiss, send your hips back towards your heels. And allow your forehead to relax on the floor, or you could place a block or blanket underneath the forehead if the ground feels far. Inhale, stretch your fingertips up to the top of your mat, maybe even come up onto your fingertips. And then exhale, press your hips down toward your heels, press into your hands. Inhale once more, fill up, find spaciousness in your body. And exhale, sink down and relax. Inhale, curl your fingertips over to the right side this time. Exhale, press your hips down. Really press your hands into the earth. Feel this nice stretch in your side body. Might feel some in your right hip a little bit as well. Inhale, rock back through center. Exhale, walk over to the left this time. Inhale, press your hands into the earth, and then exhale, sit your hips back to your heels. Feel the spaciousness in your body. Take one more slow and steady breath in, and then exhale, crawl back through center. Inhale, return back onto your hands and knees. Exhale, knees come underneath your hips, wrists are underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide, Press into all 10 finger pads. Inhale, tuck your toes if they aren't already. And press into the earth, lift your knees up off the ground to hover. Draw your navel in toward your spine and really press the earth away. Exhale, lower back down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, press into your hands, hover your knees off the ground just an inch. Soften through your face and your jaw, but continue to really press the earth away. And exhale, lower. Great. This time, inhale, press into your hands, lift your knees, and exhale, start to straighten your legs, send your hips back towards your heels, downward facing dog. When you arrive here, you can have a generous bend in your knees, and you can stay static, or if you'd like, inhale, bend your right knee, straighten through your left. Exhale, switch. Inhale, bend your right, straighten through your left. Exhale, switch. Bend your left, straighten through your right. Excellent. 
Continue to pedal out your feet here for your down dog, or if you'd like to hold static, that's perfectly fine. Continue to press the earth away through your fingertips. Welcome that generous bend in your legs here. Take one more slow and steady breath wherever you are. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, walk your feet forward to meet your hands. And then inhale, slide your hands up your shins or on your blocks, halfway lift. Crown of the head reaches long, your tailbone reaches back behind you. Nice long flat spine. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Belly comes down to the thighs, gaze goes between your legs. Head hangs heavy here. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, halfway lift once more. Reach through the crown of your head, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. If it feels nice, perhaps you lightly take your hands to the back of your neck and you just gently allow the head to hang just a little bit heavier. You can have a generous bend here in your knees again. Take another slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. If it feels nice, you may want to gently rock here from side to side. If your hands aren't behind your head, they could be on the earth, or you could reach for opposite elbows. Just find a little movement here from side to side. You can shake your head yes, and shake your head no. And then when you feel ready, you can release your hands from the back of your head or your elbows. Inhale, slide your fingers up your legs, roll all the way up to stand. And when you arrive, head comes up last. Exhale, roll your shoulders down and back. Excellent. Extend your hands out to the horizon, take a nice wide stance. So your ankles are somewhat underneath your elbow creases or your wrist creases, depends on how long your arms are. Our anatomy is all different. So heels are in, toes are out. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky, five pointed star. Exhale, cactus your arms, draw your shoulder blades together, squeeze your elbows back, bend your knees, sink down into your goddess squat. Inhale, rise up, five-pointed star. Exhale, sink down into your goddess squat. Notice if your chest wants to lean forward, can you stack your shoulders right over your hips and your ears right over your shoulders? Maybe you come up a little bit higher, that's perfectly fine. You're still getting a great stretch here. Take another slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise to stand. And exhale, reach your right hand this time over for your left forearm and start to bend over toward your right. Be mindful not to lock out your knees, so keep a nice bend there. Inhale, back through center, release your grip. Exhale, cactus your arms, sink down into your goddess squat. Inhale, rise back up. And this time, left hand reaches for your right forearm. Reach your arm up to the sky and exhale, bend to your left. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, sink down into your goddess squat. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, release your hands down to your hips this time. Your left foot turns in and your right toes face forward this time. Setting up for your warrior two. Inhale, extend your hands to the horizon. Exhale, soften and relax through your shoulders and your face. Inhale, press your right knee over towards your pinky toe. And exhale, press into the outside edge of your back left foot. Really get firm in your legs here. Soften and relax through your face and jaw. Take a nice slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Maintain that bend in your knee. Inhale, flip your palm, reach to the back of the room behind you. Your left hand slides down the back of your leg. Inhale, can you reach a little further? Exhale, perhaps that hand comes down a little bit further down the back of your leg, or you can take that bind behind your low back. This is your reverse warrior. Take another slow and steady breath in. And then exhale, bring your arms back out to a T, straighten your front leg, take a breath in. And then exhale, right hand goes down towards your right ankle, calf, wherever, 
alongside your right leg and left hand reaches up towards the sky triangle pose. You can always spin your left heel a little bit further back from you to make a little bit more space for hinging down. It's less about the depth though and more about the shoulder opening. Press your shoulders over to stack one on top of the other and see if you can spiral your lower rib cage to be directly underneath your top rib cage. Take a slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring your arms back up. Exhale, switch your feet. So right toes come in this time, left toes go forward, bend into your left knee. This is your warrior two. Gaze goes over your middle finger. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, soften and relax. Inhale, press your uh, left knee over towards your pinky toe and exhale, press into the outside edge of your right foot. Get nice and strong in your legs. You might even imagine your inner thighs are squeezing together as you really rip your yoga mat apart here. Nice strong legs. Take another breath in. Exhale, let it go. Keep that bend in your front knee. Inhale, flip your front palm and reach to the back of the room back behind you. Exhale, right hand slides down the back of your right leg as you reverse your warrior. Take one more slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring your arms back out to a T, straighten your front leg. And then exhale, left hand comes down towards your left inner leg, ankle, wherever it feels most comfortable. You may want to spin your right heel just a little bit further back. Sweep your right hand to the sky for your triangle pose. Again, press your shoulder back. It's less about also sending your arm way back here. You can stack your arms one on top of the other. And then really focus on your rib cage. See if you can bring your left rib cage forward and your right rib cage back so they stack right on top of one another. Take one more slow and steady breath in your triangle pose. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, bring yourself back up to stand. Turn your toes so heels are in, toes are out. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, lift up through your chest and exhale. You can allow your feet to turn forward and fold forward over your legs for a wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come down here to the earth in front of you, or if it feels good, you can stay, keep them on your hips. Be mindful not to lock out your knees. Just keep a little soft bend here. Hands can come down to the earth in front of you. They could walk back behind you if that would feel nice. You could walk your legs, your hands out in front of you Choose whatever feels right for you. We're here for a couple rounds of breath. Check in with yourself. Notice how you're feeling. What is your body asking for today? Take one more slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, turn your toes out, heels in. Exhale, bend into your right knee this time. Straighten through your left for like a little side lunge. Hands can be up here. You're welcome to be right up here. They can be down to the earth, or maybe you come down even a little deeper and dig your heel into the ground and your toes back toward your face for side lunge. Choose what option works for you. We're here for one more breath in and a slow and steady breath out. Inhale, straighten your right leg, and exhale, bend into your left knee. Make sure your knee tracks over your toe. Stay up here again for your side lunge. You can be up here, or you can lower all the way down towards the earth. It's okay if your left heel wants to lift. Maybe your right heel digs into the ground and your toes come up. Choose whatever variation of the side lunge, work, side lunge that works for you today. Take one more slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Release your hands back down to the earth or wherever you are, straighten your left leg this time. And exhale, crawl your fingertips over towards the right. Pivot on your left foot so your left heel comes up towards the sky and your right toes are forward. This is your lizard lunge. Hug your knee in towards your elbow. 
you can stay lifted or if you'd like, you can lower your back knee down to the earth. Take a couple rounds of breath. With each inhalation, see if you can find some spaciousness. And then with each exhalation, can you find a little softness, a little ease? You might actively send that breath to those areas that feel a little tense or tight. Take one more slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, tuck your left toes, lift your knee up off the ground. And exhale, start to straighten your right leg and crawl your fingertips back through center all the way over to the left this time. Right pivot on your right ball of foot, left toes face forward. Your back knee can stay lifted for your lizard lunge. Hug your left knee in toward your left shoulder or soften your back knee down to the earth. Notice if this side feels any different. Can you soften through your face, unclench your jaw, relax your shoulders. Take one more slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, tuck your right toes, lift your knee up off the ground. And then exhale, crawl your fingertips back forward to center for another little fold here. Toes can come forward, crown of the head can reach down towards the earth. Take a nice slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, press into your hands, lift up halfway. Reach for the crown, the head forward, and then exhale, fold. Excellent. Inhale, lift up halfway and start to crawl your feet in. You might heel toe your feet together. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins, lift up halfway, and then exhale, fold. Plant your hands down to the earth and bend your knees one at a time to make your way down onto your bottom. Bring your hands back behind you, fingertips towards your body or out to the sides. Inhale, push into your hands, puff up through your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then exhale, lower your knees to the right. Inhale, bring your knees back through center. Make sure you have a nice wide stance wherever you are. Exhale, lower your knees to the left. Inhale, back through center. One more time each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. And exhale to the left. Excellent. Inhale, back through center. And exhale, extend your legs out long. Give your legs just a little wiggle and shake. Bend both knees. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Knees out to the side. Heels further away, you're going to target more your outer hips and glutes. Heels closer in towards your groin, you're going to target more inner thigh, inner groin area. So choose what adventure you'd like to take today. Wherever you are, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, hinge from your hips. See how far you can go without rounding through your back. And then whenever you feel ready, you can allow yourself to round and fold forward over your legs. Take a couple rounds of breath here. Notice where you feel sensation. Notice if there's anything you're still holding on to that you can let go of, release. And then when you feel ready, inhale very slowly, start to press yourself upright. Exhale, bring your knees together and turn so that you have space to lie down on your mat. Your knees are bent, your toes come up to the top of your space. Inhale, reach forward and then exhale, very slowly roll yourself all the way down to the earth as slow as you can or you're welcome to use your hands here at any point and make your way onto your back. When you arrive, reach your hands up to the sky or back behind you for a nice full body stretch. Maybe your back arches here. And then exhale, draw one knee into the chest and then the other. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. Excellent. Return back to stillness. 
your knees stay bent, plant your feet. Your arms can come out to the sides. Inhale, lift your right leg up off of the ground and exhale, flex your right foot and cross your ankle over your left knee. You can take your right hand to the right hip crease and gently press it open here. Or for more sensation, float your left leg up off of the earth and interlace your right hand behind the back of your left thigh or the front of your left shin. Continue to flex through your right foot Feel the stretch in your outer hip, outer glute on the right side. Take a nice slow and steady breath in. Exhale, let it go. Excellent. Take one more breath in. And exhale, let it all go. Release your hands from your legs if they're there and return your left foot back down to the earth. Uncross your legs, take your feet as wide as your yoga mat and just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And when you feel evened out, return back to center. Walk your feet back in alignment with your hips. Inhale, lift your left leg up off of the earth this time. Exhale, flex your left foot and cross it over your right knee. You can take your left hand to your left hip crease and just gently press it open. This is a great place to stay. Or perhaps you'd like a little bit more, float your right leg up off of the ground, interlace your left hand behind the back of your right leg or the front of your left shin. Continue to flex your left foot, keep it nice and active. Or excuse me, I believe I said left shin, I meant right shin, but Wherever you are, take another breath in and exhale, let it go. One more time, nice slow and steady breath in and exhale, sigh it out, let it all go. Excellent. Release your hands from your legs, take your feet as wide as your mat. Again, just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And then when you feel evened out, return back to stillness. Walk your feet back in alignment with your hips. Inhale, bring your shins parallel to the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your shins over towards the right side. If you have props here, a great option is blanket or blocks underneath the legs or in between the legs for a little bit more support or cushion. Gaze can be up in the sky or over towards your left hand to add a stretch into your neck. Breathe into your twist. Let go of any stress or tension. Take one more slow and steady breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll back onto your back. And then exhale, draw your knees in, give yourself a little hug. Inhale, bring your knees back parallel to the sky, arms out to a T, and exhale, lower your knees to the left this time. Gaze can stay up at the ceiling or go over towards your right hand if you'd like to add that stretch into your neck. Take another slow and steady breath in. And an easy exhale out. One more breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll back onto your back. Exhale, draw your knees in toward your chest. Maybe your chin comes up closer towards your knees, your head lifts up off the ground, roll up into a tiny little ball, and then exhale, release your head back down to the earth, extend your legs out long, hands can come alongside your body or on your body, take a nice slow and steady breath in, and let it all go. Allow your eyes to soften down or fully close. Allow your breathing to return back to a pace that feels natural and comfortable for you.
take just a moment to check in with your body again. Notice how you're feeling physically, energetically, emotionally. Is it the same as when we started? Different? Better? Worse? There's no wrong answer. You're just simply checking in, noticing how you're feeling here. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like, allowing yourself to relax in Shavasana. Or if you'd like, you can start to roll over onto your favorite side. Bend your bottom arm to cradle and support your head. And then whenever you feel ready, you can gently begin to press yourself up to a seated shape. If it calls to you, bring your hands to heart center. Take a slight bow of your chin to your chest. Acknowledge all the effort, all the work that you put into your practice today, knowing that it was enough and that you are always enough. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me today for class. Again, my name is Faye, and I would love to know how this class went for you. So if you want to drop down in the comments below and share what your experience was like, I'd love to hear. And of course, if you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to give this video a like, and don't forget to comment down below. That really does mean a lot to me. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss videos in the future. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.